Hi, my name is Brett Clark and welcome to my snake service video for TTEdge.com. The snake serve is used very seldom as it's hard to control and almost impossible to learn. Before showing you the mechanics of the snake serve, let me share with you an almost true story of how I tracked down the master of the snake serve near the Thai-Burmese border. For the longest time, I'd heard mysterious stories of a magic reptile that lived deep in the jungle and he held the secret to the snake serve. So I headed north and dedicated my life to finding this magic reptile. After months in the jungle of searching high and searching low, I stumbled across what was undoubtedly the master of the snake serve. Master Snake convinced me to dedicate three years of my life. I agreed on one condition, that Master Snake also trained me in the reverse pendulum serve as the snake serve can't be used alone. The master agreed and so the training began. We went to a hidden Buddhist temple where he trained me in the ancient forgotten art of the snake serve. More wrist he would scream, more wrist, imagine your arm is a snake. He even moved me on to a diet of mice and small rodents. Then, after I finally got my 10,000 hours of training, Master Snake announced that I was ready. He made me promise to share the snake serve on YouTube so that the art would never be lost again. Oh, bet the suspense is killing you. You're screaming inside. Dude, just show me the snake serve. Before unleashing the serpent-like serve, I will start with a couple of reverse serves to show contrast as the snake serve is designed for deception. The arrow on the screen shows the line of the reverse serve. Note the elbow and finishing position of the reverse serve. Here's a couple of vicious snake serves for you. With the reverse serve, your contact is down here as you're pushing out, but the snake serve is completely different. The contact is here as you're moving your wrist in and pushing your arm out exactly the same time. This contact here is what generates all the top spin. So this is the slow-mo of the snake serve. The red arrow shows you the line of the reverse serve and the green arrow shows you the actual line of the snake serve. Note that my finishing position is almost identical to the reverse serve. This is a side-by-side -side view of the snake serve and the reverse serve. Notice how similar the actions are. And again, look at the finishing positions for both serves. Both of the following two serves are not examples of snake serves. They are just regular side spin pendulum serves and the arm is moved around at the end to try and create the illusion. Master Snake calls these serves lizard serves. Now we have a different angle for two reverse serves, two snake serves, and two lizard serves. To conclude this saga, Master Snake Skype called me last week and told me that he'd be visiting us in Chiang Mai to help out with some of the coaching here. Didn't you master snake? If you've enjoyed this video, you can go to tth.com for more tutorials by world-class player William Hensel and me.